Hey everyone, it's Cassie. Welcome back for another Simon Hurley Create video. Today I'm going to be using this absolutely gorgeous Sentimental Flowers stamp set. We're going to be doing floral masking. So I'm going to pair this up with some beautiful colors. I've got some some cardstock from my stash and then some stark white cardstock and then we're also going to be using the Avery 6465 removable ID labels. These are fantastic for masking and they're less expensive than a lot of the other options out there. So I've trimmed this down to fit inside of my Misty. This is the piece of the stark white cardstock. Just kind of thinking about my placement. And originally I was only going to do a little bit of ink blending. I changed my mind partway through uh, and we're going to end up masking so much. Um, so this takes me a little bit longer because I have to make more masks than I originally thought of. If I had been thinking I could have saved time, but you'll see as we go along. So I've inked this up with some ink on three blackout ink because I was planning to do a little bit of Copic coloring. Uh, like I said, I changed my mind, but we're going to ink that up a few times, make sure that I have a very good crisp image. I'm using a microfiber cloth on the outside of my door just to make sure that I have a good image. And uh, even picking it up and using my thumbs, that's why I really love the Misty. It works so great for that. I'm also going to stamp onto some of that Avery paper. Yeah, I just used the residual so you can't see a lot of it, but you don't need to because this is just going to be a mask. In order to make that mask, we're going to trim around it. I know, those of you that hate fussy cutting, maybe masking is not for you. <laughs> um, but I, I don't mind it, I've said that a zillion times. And all you have to do for this type is you wanna cut on the line. I mean, you wanna cut like right in the middle of it because you don't want any haloing. Uh, and that, all that means is that you end up with a little bit of white space where you don't want it. So I'm cutting right on that line all around it. I am going to cut out the center because I was like, oh, you know what? I will ink blend the center as well. Uh, again, I change routes later on and I decide to ink blend the entire piece. There is no Copic coloring or coloring of any kind other than ink blending. But this is what we've got. We've got these two pieces here. I've cut out that center. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel off the release paper of this Avery paper and then I'm going to stick that right over the top of my flower. This stuff is great because it is removable and because it's removable it makes a fantastic mask so it's not going to grip onto your paper and rip your paper. I haven't had any issues with that and there's Max trying to grab my paper. <laughs> uh, yes, he was sitting on my lap pretty much the entire time. You don't see him a whole lot, but he was sitting there. So I'll put that mask over the top and then we're going to pull in some leaves. So that's the next step. And when you're doing any sort of masking or one layer stamping, you really have to think about the placement of your items. What's going to be in the forefront? I wanted that flower to be like the first thing you see. The petals are what it's going to, going to be behind. So that's why I'm stamping them next after that flower mask is down. So I'll stamp those. I even uh, end up stamping one more leaf, but I'm going to mask these as well. Again, I'll have to shift gears later on, but I'll trim those out the exact same way I did before. Just cutting right on that line. And I'll do that for both. Peel off the release paper for these ones. Stick those down. And then this is where we come in with a little bit more stamping. So I'm going to bring in the words, sending hugs, and then one more leaf. Ink those up again and stamp those down. This would almost be a one layer card. I feel like that's the motto of my life with one layer cards. This would almost be a one layer card, <laughs> uh, but I always take it one step further. All right, so now we've put our mask on our leaf. We don't need a mask over the words. No, I mean, obviously there isn't really anything to mask. And then this is where I decide I'm going to stamp that flower again on some more of that masking paper. I'll end up having so many masks that I'm just going to save for future cards. If you were mass producing, this would be an easy way to do it. Just one, you know, one stop shop there, just stamp it once and then it, you can reuse your, your uh, mask a bunch of times. So I stamp that in the center because I'm going to want that later. All right, I've got some slippery when wet. I'm going to blend that right over our center. 
and then I'm also going to blend it softly around the outside of the flower. And to do that, you're going to start on your mask and then work your way out if you don't want any of those circular lines. But I have found that the Simon Hurley Create inks just blend so nicely that I just never really get any of those like harsh lines. I'm going to peel away my masks one at a time. And I'm going to save those because they're good masks. And so with this one, I had to do the same thing I did with the flower. I had to stamp it on another piece of Avery cardstock because now I want to isolate that leaf. And then I want to blend on that. Like I said, originally I was going to Copic Color, changed my mind. So I have pulled out some fake plant. That is my green color that I'm using. And I love that Simon Hurley Create inks can you can deepen them so you can start out real light and then you can really just kind of change not change the color but add variations of that color so I'm gonna blend right on top here start out kind of soft and then in that center portion that's closest to the flower really add some deep color I can pull this mask away I did save the release paper so I'm gonna save this mask as well it's a, I guess it's like a reverse mask is what I'm calling it so I'm gonna save this little reverse mask because I may want to do more of these cards in the future. All right, I'll pull off my next leaf and do the exact same thing with it. Save the leaf, pull out the reverse mask, almost screwed up here. <laughs> then I realized I needed my reverse mask. Peel off the release paper there, stick that right over the top. And this is just a fun way to add color without having to use markers or color pencil. And uh, once you have those masks, and if you're careful with them and you save them, you can make quick cards after this. So I'll save this mask. And then it peeled off the leaf there, so we're just going to go ahead and put its reverse mask over the top of it. And do the same thing we just did. I thought this was so much fun. Think of the color variations that you could do. My goodness. You could have a lot of fun with this. All right, saving this one as well. It's going to peel up my, my flower a little bit, so I'll save that flower. And check this out. You could even just leave it as a white, like a daisy, and how pretty is that? But I want to add some color. So here's where that other reverse mask comes in. And then I'm going to just carefully stick that over the top of my flower to isolate it. I did cut out that center piece, so we're going to need that as well. And this stamp set is just perfect for this type of masking. So I'll pull out my center, peel off the release paper of that, and stick that down over the top to preserve our center of our flower. And then I'm going to use a two color blend here. We're going to use the brand new color from Simon Hurley Create called Sidewalk Chalk. And I think it pairs so beautifully with the triple berry. So we'll start with a nice light wash of that sidewalk chalk all over our flower. And then when I am happy with that, we'll bring in our triple berry just mostly in the center of that flower radiating out. Isn't that a beautiful pink? Oof. And then we'll bring in the triple berry. Isn't that fun? Oh my goodness. I could have done this all day telling you and then this reverse mask I wasn't very successful in keeping that's okay with me uh, it was easy enough to do so and actually I wasn't that careful with it anyway so I won't save that but I will save the center of my flower and then just stick that right on top of my stamp set that's that's just a one way to save it and check it out I think that turned out so fun my almost one layer card. <laughs> All right, I'm going to trim a little bit off of this because I want the background cardstock that I've chosen to show through just a little bit. And I had cut this down to four and a quarter inches by 11 inches, and I'm going to score this at five and a half inches. This will be a top folding A2 size card. And then I'll just take some liquid glue and adhere this down. If you wanted, you could use some sort of foam tape. Maybe even add some embellishments to this, but I'm going to leave this fairly simple, just using the liquid glue to adhere this down. And then I do need to do a little stamping on the inside. So we've got sending hugs on the outside, and I'm going to stamp thinking of you on the inside using that same ink on three blackout ink. 
It's a good crisp black ink that dries pretty quickly. Haven't had any issues with it. And then once I'm done with that stamping, that is going to finish off our card for today. I really do love how this came together. I like that I could switch gears the way that I did and just go all ink blending. That was fun. Um, so if you liked this video, please hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. Maybe even share this video. And as always, thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you very soon in another video. Bye everybody.